Sean here, guys, and today we're talking about the Mamba Toothpack 411 AIO all in one board. This is Diatone's latest release that can take up to 4S voltage. And the most exciting thing I think about this particular board is it's the same one that's shipping in the new version of the 339 Pro, the red canopy. Why is it red? Because it can take flight one. That's right, there is a flight one target for this board. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to go ahead and load up flight one to give it a try. Let's just go to the bench in a second and give you guys a rundown. If you would like to see flight one on this, um, let me know. I'm happy to slap this into my uh, 339. Now note, if you buy the 339 that comes with Flight 1, you have it. If you don't, I believe you have to buy a $15 license to be able to actually run it. Um, so we'll see if I end up getting my hands on one of those licenses or not. But regardless, whatever kind of build you're going to be building up, whether it is a cube, whether you're going to be building your own custom 3-inch, this thing should be able to handle quite a bit of abuse. I think I'd be comfortable running pretty much any motors of a 1606-ish or lower. I don't know. Some people are going to say you want the 20 amp versus this. But, okay, maybe you might want to stick to like 1306 or smaller. Uh, that's just goes to show what kind of motors are you going to be running on this. Um, I generally have been pretty happy with almost everything Diatone has put out. Um, if I had to go between a Diatone option or a Beta FPV option, I would probably pick the Diatone, but Beta FPV is the only ones that's going all the way up to 35 amp on these two pick boards so far. So is Diatone gonna respond in kind? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and go to the bench. Okay, so here is the Mama Toothpick. 411 AIO board. And this is the one that comes in the 339 and the 229 Pro. And check this thing out. Wow. It is beautiful. It's similar to that Beta FPV board. You can see right there, a little sticker letting you know it is the Mamba. Now these pads, I really, really like how they're doing these pads. Much um, larger, very big. And you can see that the board orientates. You can have a little arrow on the flight controller right there, pointing that this is forward orientation right there. And then you have your standard motor configuration, you know, one, two, three, four. So easy. And then if you look along here is where you would have your ground five volt. Uh, then you have your three volt. There is RX and TX one. So if you're using Crossfire, you'd kind of all be down here. Um, then you have your power leads, which are going to come out here. You have a five volt ground, and oh, it's so tiny. You have like LED stuff over here. And then you have your video pads over here, kind of by motor four, which would be at the front. And I like that. They've thought of that though. The front is where the camera, you have your video pads over here, like towards the front. And they thought about that because the front's gonna be where your camera is gonna be pointed anyway. So if your video system and camera stuff coming out over here, receiver stuff over here. Very, very nice. You can see, it comes with this little bag of goodies. So you have gummies all around multiple sets. I do really like that they have multiple sets of these gummies. Comes with a capacitor that you can put on, an XT30. I like that they um, leave this for your option on how to mount it. I'm gonna mount this on the pigtail. It doesn't come with any wire um, for you to actually make your pigtail, um, but that's okay. I think I can forgive that. And one thing that I actually really, really like is that the flight control actually comes in this bag. I've already opened it up, but it has a QR code to launch the instructions if you want a blown up um, diagram of this. These tiny, tiny boards are getting better and better at giving you pads that are actually of a decent size that you can solder onto. 
and you see the little tiny holes right behind the motor pads that's if you want to just solder up these little um, whoop motor connectors so if you're using motors that have connectors on them you can just very easily put that on there get a little flux and some solder it'll connect it and then you can just use those instead so very cool i really appreciate the versatility of this solution